Hi everyone, welcome to the first Tools and Tricks from the Digital Learning Collaborative. I'm Dr. Alex Kolfus and today I'll be showing you how to manipulate a little bit of code in order to create a random question generator. So first, in order to find the code, you'll want to navigate to this website, fiquestions.weebly.com slash dlc underscore code dot html. When you get there, uh, pretty much the only thing on the page is this little bit of code. And before I show you what to do with it, I want to take a minute to explain to you uh, what's going on in this code here. So here in the heading section, I'll zoom in just a bit so you can see this a bit more. This section here just defines the text area where the question will show up. Down here, this is the actual code that will split um, the, the questions that you've entered into individual questions and then choose them. This right here grabs all of them, this breaks them into individual lines, and then this will select one of them to display. So down here is the body of the document, and you'll see that it's pretty much just a text area. Right here, you'll see that it's set to not display. That's important because if that's changed in any way, what will happen is all the questions you've listed will show up uh, with, within that text box. Now if you want that, you can certainly delete this chunk right here to not display, but if you're looking for a random question generator, I'd recommend leaving that on so that just one of your questions will show up at a time. Okay. So you want to go ahead and grab all this code. You can select it and copy or do Command or Control A and then copy that. Command or Control C. Now you can edit this in whatever you wish. I'm going to go ahead and bounce over here to a Google Doc and paste that in. Command or Control V. You can plug it in any kind of document you wish. Again, uh, text editor, Microsoft Word, whatever you wish. So down here is pretty much all that you want to edit. You can, if you want to change the look of the text box, you can edit this information right here. You know, you can change the border, change the color, all that. But for the most part, you'll pretty much just want to edit these questions down here. There's two important things to remember when editing these questions. One, don't skip lines in between your questions. What that's going to do is it's going to count a blank line as a question. And so then sometimes when somebody scans the QR code or visits the site, it'll just show them a blank line because you've, you've actually got blank lines in the list of questions. So don't skip any lines. And then this here, after your last question, right here, make sure that this bit of tag stays after that last question. If you put it on the next line, it's going to do the same thing where it seems like one of your options is a blank line. So you can select this. and start editing your questions. Uh, what is your favorite color? Um, where do you like to go on vacation? And then so on. So you can add as many questions as you want, just making sure again to not skip any lines and to keep this little HTML tag directly after your last question. So once you've got all the questions typed in there that you want, um, we're going to need to re uh, recopy it and find a place to put it. So we'll do Control or Command A to select everything, and then Control or Command C to copy it. So you can pretty much put it anywhere that you like, anywhere that you have access to just plug in HTML code. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put it onto a Weebly page, but again, you can plug it in anywhere that you like. So I'm going to come over here to Weebly. Uh, if you don't have a Weebly account, um, you might want to set one up or just talk to somebody at your school and see if they already have something set up for a place that you could plug this into. I'm going to add a new page, just a regular standard page, and call it My Code. And as far as having the random question generator, a lot of times we'll have this show up um, on a smartphone. And so you want to kind of minimize everything else that shows up on the page. So if you are using Weebly, go ahead and click over here on No Header so that uh, whatever image is automatically attached to that page doesn't show up as well. So I'm going to save that and go to edit. And you'll see that I have pretty much a blank page and I just want to drag over down here the embed code option. Click there and then do control or command V 
to paste that code in there. All right? And then when I click off, you'll be able to see what happens. Automatically, it goes ahead and shows me what it is. The text box, the text area that has all the list of questions would normally be here, but again, it's set to not display. And all that's showing up is the text box that I've asked it to to generate the random question. I'm going to publish that. So now once that's published, it's ready to go. I'll come back over here to the live Weebly site and show you what that looks like. We can now come over here and click on the page we just created, the My Code, and it's going to show us one of our random questions. If I come and refresh that, you'll see that it's going to give me a different question. Now, it does not keep track of questions that, is, that a person has been asked on an individual visit, so it's possible if you click on refresh, let's say, 10 times or so, that you're going to see the same question again. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. If, you know, if a student says, oh, I got the same question, just have them you know, refresh it or scan the QR code again. So there you go, your very own random question generator. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. You can bounce over to our website here, dlc.fi.ncsu.edu. Feel free to contact us. Again, I'm Dr. Alex Kolfus. Thanks for watching.